Hi everyone, it's Scott from scottmullerguitar.com. Guys, before we launch into today's lesson, let me again direct your attention to this link below. That's the link for our website, Scott Muller Guitar. If you follow that link or click on it, you can get a free guitar book. I wrote that as a gift to all the YouTube viewers out there. So go download the ebook and I hope you enjoy it. Guys, today's song is Capital Cities Safe and Sound. What a really cool tune. Um, again, like a lot of the other songs we've done this year, there's no guitar in the track, but I should say maybe there's some guitar in the bridge section, but it's a keyboard dominant song. But I've transcribed the chords for you, and I'm going to show you how to play those. There's a few things we need to talk about. There's the chords in usage. There's an octave part. I'll give you that. And kind of deceptive, you would assume after you learn a few sections that it's always the same, but there's a really cool E minor 7 in the chorus. It only happens, I think, twice in the song, and I'll show you that as well. So what I'll do, we'll start with the very beginning of the song. We're going to talk about the introduction. As is in many songs, guys, the introduction is four measures in length, but they double it. So here's intro. Let me show you the chords. We have an F suspended second. And I'll be fast with these chords so we can get through the entire video today, less than 15 minutes, hopefully. Uh, F suspended second, it's a four string chord. Go to the fourth string, third fret with the third finger. You're going to play your open third string, your second string first fret with the first finger, and your first string third fret with the pinky. F sus two. We go to a C chord then. I'm going to give you two versions, guys, and you can play this throughout the song. You can do C like this, or C with a high G on top. And you'll see why that's kind of a cool idea, because these four chords of the introduction can have that high G on top, and that sounds pretty consistent. Here's the first version of C. Uh, five strings only. Go to the fifth string, third fret with the third finger. Fourth string, second fret, middle or second finger. Open third string. Second string, first fret, first finger, and then open first string. Instead of your open first, you can put your pinky on the first string, third fret, if you want. So you'd have this F sus2 to C, high first string open, or F sus2 with that high note on top. Okay, uh, the next chord, I'm going to give you two versions of that. It's A minor 7, or it's going to be this one with, again, that high note on top. Okay, so A minor 7 is just like an A minor, but you remove the third finger. Let me show you how to play A minor 7. Play 5th string open, 4th string 2nd fret with the 2nd finger, open 3rd string, 2nd string 1st fret 1st finger, and 1st string open, or 1st string 3rd fret with the pinky. Okay, so, so far guys, we have F sus2, C, or C with a high G on it, A minor 7, or A, a minor 7 with a high G on top, and lastly a standard G chord. Uh, let's go 6 through 1. It's the 6th string, 3rd fret with the 2nd finger, 5th string, 2nd fret, 1st finger, open 4th, open 3rd, 2nd string, 3rd fret with the 3rd finger, and 1st string, 3rd fret with the pinky. Uh, we've talked about slash chords in my videos this year. A slash chord is a symbol like G slash B. There is this implied, uh, in the octave figure I'm going to show you in a minute, it implies a G with B in the bass verbalized G over B. If you know G, 6 through 1, G over B is simply don't play the 6th string. Make sure you're playing strings 5 through 1 instead of 6 through 1. Same notes, just forget the low 6th string. Go 5 through 1. I'll give you that fingering though for G over B. 5th uh, string, 2nd fret, 1st finger. Open 4th string, open 3rd string, 2nd string, 3rd fret, 3rd finger, and 1st string, 3rd fret, pinky. Okay, guys, let's play the chorus, sorry, the intro together, which, I mean, those chords are found in the chorus as well, sorry for that. We're going to do the intro, one measure of S sus2, one measure of C, and I'll use, I'll use consistently that high note on every chord. So it'll be F sus2, C with a high G, A minor 7 with a high G, and then G. Don't do the G over B just yet. So maybe we could do this. One, uh, we'll strum the chord and then do some eighth notes like this. I was doing a quarter and then eighth notes. If you want to go eighth notes throughout, you can do this. Another option would just be play whole notes. I think you want a little bit more activity in that. So let's just do this. I'm going to do one, two, and three, and four, and so I'm going to start with a quarter and then eighth notes. Okay, guys, play with me. F sus2, C, A minor 7 to G, 
those four measures double it, gives, giving us eight measures in the entire intro. One, two, three, here we go. Okay, guys, now we're at the first verse, verse one. And you have this keyboard, kind of a bass guitar part. It's um, uh, octaves. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing with this. As I've done in several of my videos, I'm using hybrid picking. I'm using the pick as well as the middle finger typically, but you could use the third as well. You're using pick and fingers on the right hand. Let me show you the, uh, the verse part with octaves. Uh, and this is the only time it does it in the song, by the way. Go to the uh, low sixth string, first fret, play that with your first finger, and skip your fifth string, and then go to the fourth string, uh, third fret with a pinky. You could also do this. You can go first finger on the low string, third finger on that higher note. I'm looking at my close-up shot here. Or you could do pinky. For whatever reason, I've been using pinky for years. So you have this, sixth string, first fret, fourth string, third fret. So it's gonna be sixth string, first fret, first finger, fourth string, third fret, third or fourth finger, it's up to you. We're gonna be doing eighth notes, it's just gonna be this one and two and three and four and, and we're trying to have some separation there, that's why I'm purposely lifting. So not, I'm doing this. Notice I'm using the heel of the hand, the side of the hand, you know, kind of muting the strings a little bit. And uh, let's talk about that hybrid picking again. If you want, you could go right hand picking. You could just go down, 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 down. Or you could go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Or you can go down pick on the first note. And with the middle finger of your right hand, you could pluck that higher string. Watch this. I'm going to say pick finger. Pick finger, pick finger, pick finger, pick finger. That's hybrid picking. Okay, so let me show you the octaves. And you can you know, pick it however you wish. You have those techniques now. It's going to be um, F. We have the first fret and the third fret. And all of these will be on the sixth string and the fourth string, so that won't confuse you. So again, the F is uh, one and three. And then jump up to eight and ten. And then we have five and seven. And then we're going to divide the measure, this last measure, between G and B. So we're going to go three and five, and then seven and nine. So watch this, guys. It's going to be one measure of F, one measure of C, one measure of A, and then the last measure we're dividing, uh, we have two counts on the G and then two counts on the B, but we're doing eighth notes. So it'll be four eighth notes on the G and then four eighth notes on the B, as in one and two and three and four and... Okay, so let's play this together. Again, eighth notes, octaves, F, C, a, G to B, or fretwise, one and three, eight and ten, five and seven, three and five, and seven and nine. Here we go, one and two and three, and here we go. Let's double it. you did great on that. If for some reason you don't want to play that, if you want to do it as an acoustic guitar player, guess what guys? The very same chords you use for the intro are the exact same chords underneath this uh, bass line. So you would just do F sus2 to C to A minor 7. This is where I would go G to G over B. So that's the only difference. The taking care of this. So G, G over B. Hear that? So if you want to do that, Again, it's the same four measure phrase, doubled or eight measures, and you have this for a measure, you have this for a measure, this for a measure, and then this for another measure, and you double it. So there you go. Now at the point in the song we are with the trumpet guitar part. I'm sorry, trumpet part. Um, the trumpet part, but for the guitar, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna do whole notes, guys. How simple, the same chords. You're gonna do a whole note which where you strike it on beat one and hold it for four counts, it's this. One, two, three, four, C. A minor 7 to the G. Okay, now we're into verse 2. Um, 
It's the same exact part as before. There's no octaves this time. So guess, guess what you're going to play? You're going to play the chords I mentioned a moment ago. So again, this is verse 2. You're simply going to do F. And if you want to do whole notes, you can. Or if you want to do that eighth note strum pattern, I think it might be best. So let's go F sus 2, C, A minor 7, G, and then double it. How simple, guys. One, two, three, here we go. Okay, here comes the chorus. Again, it's mostly the same, but kind of deceptively in a cool way, they throw in an E minor 7. This is really nice. Um, easily missed, perhaps. But the chorus is this, F sus 2 yet again, C again, E, I'm sorry, A minor 7, and then on this fourth measure where G normally has been placed, it's E minor 7. Beautiful, okay? And then the second line of the chorus is F, C, A minor, and G. So let's review the chorus, and I'll slow that down. You already have F sus 2, you have C with the high G, you have A minor 7 with the high G, let's do E minor 7. E minor 7, guys, is just a G chord, but you take off the second or middle finger down here, but you specifically play the low six string on the bottom. So here's G, here's E minor seven. Beautiful chord, right? I'll give you those strings, frets, and fingers. Open six string, fifth string, second fret with the first finger, open fourth string, open third string, second string, third fret, third finger, and first string, third fret, pinky. Okay guys, what we're going to do, and hopefully this is not too fast, I'm just trying to cram it in for you. Here's the chorus, eight measures, one measure of F sus 2, one measure of C, one measure of A minor 7, one measure of E minor 7, and then one measure of F sus 2, one measure of C, one measure of A minor 7, and one measure of G. Okay, let's play this with the eighth note pattern, meaning the quarter note followed by the eighth notes. This is the eight measure chorus. Make sure on bar four you play E minor seven. One, two, chorus, here we go. Here's your E minor seven. F sus two, C, A minor seven, to G. Okay, how'd you do? Hopefully you did well on that. Guys, now we're at the bridge. We have this really beautiful D minor nine chord. And I'll show you perhaps an easier fingering for beginning students. And then you have an F major seven, and then a G major six or G six. Okay, let me show you those fingerings. Um, I'll give you the harder one first, and hopefully this is not too difficult. It's not a bar chord. You're using four fingers, but there's no you know, flattening of the first finger. So here's D minor nine. And by the way, for those who want the theory behind it, a minor nine chord is the root, the flat third, the fifth, the flat seven, and the nine of a scale. We're leaving out the fifth in this chord to make it easy. Um, so we have this fifth string, fifth fret with the second finger. Okay, fourth string, third fret with the first finger, and that's a bit of a stretch, of course, but... Okay, third string, fifth fret with the third finger, and second string, fifth fret with the pinky. D minor nine. If that's too difficult, and I understand if it were uh, too difficult for you, um, let's play an open version. Give me the fourth string open, third string, second fret with the second finger, second string, first fret with the first finger, and then open first string. So that would be the root, the fifth, the flat seven, and the nine. I would prefer you do this one. This isn't a really cool voicing or um, shape here. Um, after that, you play F major seven. And here's F sus two. F major seven is played like this. Uh, fourth string, third fret with the third finger. Third string, second fret, second finger second string, first fret with the first finger, and the open first string. So we have this, D minor nine for two measures. One, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then you finish up with a G6. Guys, many of you know, this is the way I play G and the way I teach it. That's, that's great. Um, a lot of students play this real basic version, which is fine as well. If you're used to playing this basic G, what you can do to get G6 is simply do this. Bring your third finger from the high string third fret, put it on the second string third fret. So here's G major six. Okay, it's just one of many shapes. I could have done this. 
but I thought this might be easier for you guys. So here's your G6 fingering. Uh, sixth string, third fret with the second finger. Fifth string, second fret, first finger. Open fourth string, open third string. Second string, third fret with the third finger and open first string. So here's the bridge, and uh, this is really nice. D minor nine for two measures, strike it on beat one, hold it for eight counts. One, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. I'm gonna slow down a bit. F major seven for a measure. Two, three, four, G six for a measure. You hear every chord. Has that upper E note. So that is the bridge, and you do strum the whole notes. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Um, you will repeat it. I'm looking at my chart over here. You'll double it, okay? And then it goes into this instrumental section, same exact chords. Two measures of D minor nine, one measure F major seven, one measure of G six, and then it goes into a chorus again. Remember guys, here's the chorus. F sus two, C, A minor seven, here's that E minor seven. The next line as we did before, F sus two, C, A minor seven, and G. That's the second chorus. And then we're almost done, by the way, guys. Then we have this breakdown. Um, there might be like a kick drum, like a bass drum pedal, a bass drum, excuse me, um, providing the beat, but I think the instrumentalists just kind of lay out and there might be chords underneath, but um, you're playing like whole notes. Same chords, F sus two, C, make sure you do whole notes on this one, A minor seven, and then G, F sus two, and then you start building. A minor seven, build the, and then it just goes in for the remainder of the song. It's super simple, guys. You have F sus two, C, A minor seven, and G. You double that. Then the trumpet part comes in again, same chords, F sus two, C, A minor seven, and G, and you double that. And then you end with a chorus, which in this ending chorus is just shockingly. F sus two, C, A minor seven, and G, and then you do it again. F sus two, C, A minor seven, and G. And guys, there's the song, another great pop tune. Cool chords, I think uh, you probably benefited greatly from the D minor nine, the E minor seven, F major seven, and a nice G6. So hopefully you enjoyed that, guys. As always, thank you for viewing these videos and commenting, liking, sharing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. It's just Scott Miller Official at, here on YouTube. And if you haven't received your free guitar book, go to scottmillerguitar.com. I must mess that up. scottmillerguitar.com and download your free guitar book. Guys, thank you for uh, you know, viewing. We'll see you next time.